So you're having problems with leg cramps. I feel for you. I used to have muscle cramps every night. No matter what I did, they would wake me up three times every single night and I could not find out why. But once I incorporated these tips that I'm about to share, muscle cramps went away for good and I want the same for you. So let's talk about the seven ways that you can cure muscle cramps right now. Hi, I'm Fake Duck. If this is your first time here and you want to burn fat, live long and feel awesome, start now by subscribing, hit that bell right now so that you don't miss anything. Okay, the number one way to cure your leg cramps is sodium, increase your sodium intake. I know you've heard this a million times, but 80% of muscle cramps are caused by a deficiency in sodium. To prevent muscle cramps, you actually should eat around a teaspoon or two of salt every single day and replenish your sodium levels often. Now, if you are already consuming a lot of sodium but still have muscle cramps, chances are you have the opposite problem. You consume too much salt. So number two would be decrease your sodium intake. Because everyone is telling you that you should consume more sodium and most of the times it's actually true. But no one tells you that you may actually have to decrease it. This was a problem for me. Every video I watched back then when I had muscle cramps uh, told me that I should consume more sodium. So I added more and more sodium and was having more and more muscle cramps. What I found is that is that on the days where I consume less sodium, I actually have less muscle cramps because excess sodium can actually cause a lot of bad stuff to your body. And one of these side effects of sodium is muscle cramps. So I personally wouldn't go over two tablespoons of sodium maybe, unless you are a high level athlete or take saunas or sweat a lot. Number three way to cure muscle cramps is eat more veggies. Because what is actually as important as sodium is potassium. And the main source of potassium on keto are veggies. So you can do two things. You can increase your intake of veggies or you can eat veggies that are higher in potassium. And the way I like to look at it is the amount of potassium per 10 carbs. And veggies rich in potassium include radish, especially the white one, then avocado and asparagus. Number four is... Why did I show seven? Number four is eat your veggies before your bedtime. Because you naturally tend to deplete your electrolytes just like that, just by walking around, by sweating, by not even sweating, but you just deplete your electrolytes. And you want to have a lot of potassium in your body when you're going to bed. Magnesium from veggies will also play a big role when it comes to muscle cramps, so, and also sleep quality overall, so consume your veggies close to bedtime if possible. Number five is take potassium supplements. Because you also don't want to consume too much veggies on keto, right? Because of carbs. So you can also supplement with potassium. Now there are more types of potassium supplements, but the ones that I recommend are in the form of potassium citrate. Potassium tabs are the worst. They only store at one place and they cannot really get uh, utilized by the rest of the body. And potassium chloride, I've read that it has some side effects. So definitely get potassium citrate in a powdered form. So when it comes to nutrition, muscle cramps are really caused by electrolyte imbalance. It's nothing else. Now, muscle cramps may not be caused by what you eat. In that case, you should exercise less. Because many people tend to train a lot and that creates a lot of lactic acid which causes muscle cramps. If you run every day or, or you squat every day, just try not to because it's not even optimal for your muscle growth. In that case, if you maybe start running every other day instead of every day, muscle cramps should go away. Now, if you don't run and don't do squats, you may actually have the opposite effect. So number seven is exercise more. Increase your sodium, but decrease your sodium. Exercise less and exercise more. It is all about balance. It's not good to overtrain, but that does not mean that you should just sit on your butt. Because that's even worse. It's horrible for your cardiovascular health, for your energy levels. But it's also gonna give you muscle cramps. So utilize these seven tips and I believe that you should not wake up because of muscle cramps. And if you wanna optimize your sleep on keto, this video is a must watch. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.